Ciao a tutti, ciao. Allora, today we are in San Martino sulla Marocina, a small village near the coast, about 20 minutes. And Guardia Grele is a big town, uh, about five minutes. And uh, it's very, very... Uh, it's good, popular. Good, popular, yeah, exactly. It's popular. Lots of tourists in uh, Guardia Grele, lots of things to do. It's nice. It's very mm, beautiful and uh, have a particularity. Uh, I don't know if you know Le Sise delle Monache. Uh, of course I do. Sweet. Uh, yeah, yeah, sweet uh, for, uh, for uh, typical of the region. Uh, how to, it's with cream, I think. There's exactly. a cream inside, yeah. The remind, uh, the name is uh, like female's breast. In translation, I don't know, it's sweet, but yeah, if you are okay. here, just... And uh, it's very popular, popular yeah. this uh, sweet. Yeah, we will put it's a it. picture of, of those on the, oh, on the video, so they... Idea. Yeah. And first I want to thank, because I receive a lot of uh, messages, so thank you, and uh, I hope uh, see you uh, in Abruzzo, just only for uh, one coffee, maybe. Yeah. And uh, today, uh, as you know, it is... Uh, a part of Abruzzo. Yeah, this in the near the Maiella National Park. Yeah, and very very quiet. But in this uh, town we have a uh, town, small village. We have a coffee bar, uh, alimentari. Maybe um, there are. Uh, 800 people yes 800 people but uh, you are right Paola the restaurants in the town but also in Guardia Grele there is a one one Michelin star restaurant exactly. yeah the yeah. Villa Maiella so yeah. if you are it's here one the best of uh, Italy not only Abruzzo but yeah. uh, Italy because they have a Star. Yeah, Michelin star. Yeah, it's very nice and uh, very nice. check it out if you're here. Check it out. It is a, a beautiful beach. Yeah. So uh, it's very, very close. Yeah, very close. Uh, I I was in, I live in Kieti and it was like uh, 15 minutes drive. So yeah, it's very, very, it's very close. fast. But it's very important for me. Uh, if you live there, you are in an area quiet. 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 Yeah. Sorry, quiet. <laughs> Uh, but uh, if you want uh, chaos, <laughs> just 20 minutes. Yeah, and, 20 uh, minutes to activities. activities. Yes, and uh, Guardia Grele, lots of tourist activities, not only in history. Uh, there is the Parco Aventura Maiella, exactly. the Piana delle Mere. It's just beautiful, Guardia Grele. If you haven't been here, just uh, check it out because it's, uh, it's worth it. In Piana delle Mere, uh, there is a, a very uh, big forest. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, for sport, yeah, with, uh, yeah, you have the, but how do you call it? Yeah, it, 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 we will, uh, we will look for it, yeah. But not only for sport, but uh, uh, yeah. when uh, my children is very, very small, yeah. uh, it's very beautiful for uh, Yeah, outdoor children. activities, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's uh, definitely check it out if you're here because it's worth it. Uh, yeah, maybe check it out. It's uh, Parco Aventura Maiella. It's really, really amazing place. Yes. And uh, yeah, and the, the yes. light. So lots to show. So I think we can uh, we can go. What do you say, Paula? We go. Yes. We go with the yes. tour. Yeah. And, uh, especially uh, the door is yeah, very, the door, very important uh, door. <laughs> yeah, I will I will film it carefully. Okay, let's go. Okay. Hey guys, I bought the house, as we were saying, uh, this was a huge palace, uh, historical vibes inside, it's a nice terrace, cellars, uh, but yeah, we, we can start from this door, like Paula was saying, this door is massive, I, when I opened it, it's uh, just heavy, very heavy nice frame on the door let's uh, i don't know if you can appreciate it from the video probably yes look at this keyhole here massive massive so inside as you enter let's go logically here you have the stairs that leads to the main uh, living area uh, here downstairs it's uh, all raw 
so seller like vibes uh, probably you know who, who knows what they've done here in the past what they were doing probably the servants were staying here uh, difficult to say difficult to say but now yeah you can uh, renovate this and uh, turn it into something beautiful uh, you have uh, windows here for natural light and yeah much more of the same here on this side so you can see lots of stuff hanging around time machine time machine vibes when you are when you enter this these houses uh, that's probably an omen yeah I, I i can tell from the black on the walls so it's probably an omen nice nice heating system it's going up you can tell from the radiators this house was not like abandoned because it was uh, this, uh, those are kind of modern radiators uh, probably late 90s interesting railing here here is where the beauty starts with the famous cementina tiles and uh, guys these tiles are in high demand like uh, finding preserved and in good condition like this is tough and uh, in the ceilings you can tell there was some extra care in decorating those Pretty interesting choice. Mm. Like it. And moving forward here, we have what? Ease and the must, I think, be the kitchen. Makes sense. This kitchen will be huge uh, once renovated uh, with the massive fireplace here with marble it's, uh, interesting and uh, this is a big project and the interesting one for those of you that are brave this can be turned into I don't know a boutique uh, a b and b it's not too bad having this ruin actually as a view it is a fig plant yeah you will need to prone it trim it or just grab fix and eat it from your window uh, moving forward we have a bathroom here and again you can tell this was recently uh, renovated again it's not the most modern but r safely uh, assuming that this was used uh, until very recently and here you have the the road that leads to Guardia Grele. Here we have a room, so if you are thinking of, and look at these tiles, they yes, so peculiar. If you're thinking to the BMB, this could be, you know, one room and uh, with the ensuite bathroom. And here you can have an amazing, amazing breakfast room with this. Uh, uh, cementine tiles great just great uh, upstairs should be more of the same in terms of uh, greatness cementine tiles and guys this room as a surprise Look at this bed frame. It's like medieval times. <laughs> Weird. 
don't necessarily like it, of course, but I, I appreciate the weirdness. Look at what they were doing in the past. Like, what the heck? Interesting. Really interesting. So, about the surprise, guys. Look at this terrace. So, this could be like your premium room or your bedroom and uh, you get to enjoy this beautiful view peaceful quietness of course get rid of this antenna no one needs it no one is watching tv anymore look at this beauty and uh, like i was saying this ruin is not too bad i know it's it's a ruin but you know in a, in a way that had some something to the view and, uh, moving to the next room still massive the height of the ceilings is immense i don't know it's probably around four meters yeah, I would say so. You could even probably... Guys, I'm giving you ideas. I don't know if it, even, if it even makes sense for you. If you want two bedrooms with their own bathroom, you know, you could technically raise this and have like the bedroom on top, have a small bathroom below. I'm saying this because here we have another bathroom, so you can have plumbing connections, you know rather easily going from here to to there and uh, this in turn can be the bathroom of the other room it's uh, oh, pretty amazing guys if i'm honest i quite like it what do you think uh, let us know about uh, i mean the the location is great the palace is historical the works to be done uh, are there I'm not saying they are not but uh, an interesting opportunity nonetheless look at this this is a kind of those uh, I don't know how you call it where you would use this to wash your face without going to the bathroom I often see it in uh, palaces when I'm touring the <laughs> capitals amazing uh, so let us know and uh, remember to comment like and subscribe to help us and uh, see you on the next video